Okay, we are back. Uh, one thing that I wanted to bring up today is average order value on Amazon. We know fees are going up. We know it's getting more expensive to be an Amazon seller. And for a lot of people, you know, profit margins are getting squeezed. And so that's where this topic comes in, which is, you know, how do we find ways to actually increase the average order value? So customers encouraging them to order more than one item or more than one product from your catalog, because that drastically mm -hmm. changes your unit economics and is probably the best way that you can actually be more profitable when selling on Amazon. So I guess, Arvin, I'll turn it to you and ask, you know, do you have any tips in terms of how to do this or recommendations? Well, yeah, there are a lot of um, strategies out there that you can do, and we can talk uh, into details about this one. There are, of course, um, product bundling. There is upselling or cross-selling. There's also creating promotion and discounts. And then you can also in, um, optimize your listings or even adding an enhanced brand content. Then it also, if your product is eligible, you can do subscription options like subscribe and save. Okay. And so then, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh -huh. No, no, just um, to add more, of course, you, you need to encourage your customer or your um, these Amazon customers to buy your product. Then, of course, you have to invest on um, having really good reviews and ratings. And we're, we'll not talk about advertising because that would be a to totally different topic. But another thing is a pricing strategy. And, of course, I mean, the most important thing is to have inventory. So uh, those are just the things that um, I'd say strategy-wise will help you increase your AOV. So let's start with the first one. So virtual bundles. Tell me about virtual bundles. It's not just really about virtual bundles, but also physical bundle. But for virtual bundle, you know, um, it's all only eligible or allowed rather for um, Amazon sellers who are brand registered. Mm -hmm. So, and then you can create this um, virtual bundle wherein you can combine one of your ASIN to another ASIN, making sure that both of them have an FBA inventory because if one of them ran out of stock, then the, the virtual bundle will also not work or the detail page of that one will not be visible. So right. you can do that. Um, but the, the, the thing, the only thing that I would say about the virtual bundle is to me is as if you have to start from scratch because whatever review you have on your um, two listings, it will not be merged on that virtual bundle. That's why I was saying earlier that maybe the option for you is to do the, the physical bundle because that physical bundle, you can actually uh, merge them or put them into a variation with your child since as a strategy for having more reviews. Yeah, so bundles in general is really the theme here. And it's you either, Amazon gives you the ability for brand registered sellers to do virtual bundles, which is like, if mm -hmm. you have three products that you sell on Amazon that are similar, you can put them mm -hmm. into a virtual bundle, but it's on its own listing. But essentially, if they're at FBA, if someone buys that bundle, Amazon will just go and pick all three items, put them in a box and ship them out as if they were a bundle that you made. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. allows you to just easily create a bundle without having to like repackage everything, you know, before you send it in. The alternative is to actually create a bundle, aka like put a do a two pack variation of a product. You know, obviously that's going to have a higher uh, average order value on it. Uh, but you do have to do a little prep work in terms of putting that together. But that's a, a great way to add another variation and another, you know, listing on Amazon um, as well and send that in. Virtual bundles, I will yeah. say one thing too, is now that Amazon currently is has them displayed under all the products that they include. So if you go to like the product one in that virtual bundle, on that listing, it'll show this big block for virtual bundles. So it's a really easy mm -hmm. way to kind of capture some more space on the product detail page and encourage people to buy more. Uh, so that I think is is a cool new uh, update that Amazon's made. Yeah, I mean, just just going back to the uh, physical bundle, I I I call. I mean, to me, it's more on a strategy as well. And and I have this one uh, Amazon seller that um I talked to, okay. because um one of his product is always being targeted by Amazon for um customer complaint, and from time to time Amazon keep delisting them or deactivating them, and. I suggested that why don't you offer this two pack as a physical bundle? So at least if that one pack got delisted because of this high return rate, then you can have this um another option with this the two pack to be available for your Amazon customers. So mm -hmm. that's just an, a strategy. But that's you know there are so many things to cover in just this just for this topic because uh because also you can play with prices in that. But let's move on. To uh, right. the next one. Uh, so we want to go coupons uh -huh. and promotions. 
uh, coupon sale promotion is again it's it's just more related on the um, pricing strategy as well but then it's having that um strike through or having the wording on your detail page that says 20 percent discount or even a coupon five thirty five percent discount those are marketing strategy but when right. i was in college my professor told me that yeah this actually attracts your um customer to click on your detail page and to buy because you know when you are on the amazon search page there are a lot of options in there and right. if i am a customer what will i do is okay i don't know what to choose in here of course i will look at the the one that has a better review the one that has a really good image but then i will also uh, look at the one that has a really good offer or have a really good discount or promotions so yeah, that that one in there you can do this um, buy one get one promotion or this um buy uh buy this with another product and you will get twenty percent discount or whatever discount you'd like and then on the coupon it's on, it's the clip on discount that you can um let's say five or ten percent that you can give to your Amazon customers but then there's also prime exclusive discount. There's also deals, lightning deals, and this coming Prime Day, it's, it's one of them. And then there's also this brand tailored promotion. So I'm not talking about them specifically because it would be like a lot to discuss, but those are just some of the promotions that you can create and you can offer to your customers to uh, have them click on your listing. Yep. So yeah, so coupons and promotions, you can obviously offer those with just a dollar off amount, at least for coupons, but you can also use them to encourage people to essentially buy more than one unit of a single product or to buy multiple products in your catalog by saying, hey, buy two units, get $5 off or buy this product with this product, get 5% off. And mm -hmm. now I've seen a lot more people doing a coupon or, you know, for um, to opt in to subscribe and save like, at, you know, 20% off your first subscribe and save with this coupon. And obviously that's a repeat purchase. Uh, value right there so those are some of the effective strategies for using those um yes the subscription option is uh yeah a different one and it's only uh for products that are consumable or uh, like tropical products like um, lotion shampoos mm -hmm. so uh, if if your product is eligible make sure that you are enrolled because not every product are automatically enrolled to that program so you have to consistently check maybe you can also even raise a case to sell central and help the ask them ask them for real, their help to have your ASIN to be enrolled in that in that program. Sure. Okay. Cool. And what about A plus content? Well, on the A plus content, you can take advantage of that one because there's like this, um, you know, the comparison table. Mm -hmm. It's it's more on the cross selling side. Sure. So, uh, if you have different um product or different options uh, for your Amazon customer, aside from the one that has already been on, on the detail page, then you can have that link and ask them, or you can not ask them, but you can have them click on that link, and if they will be redirected to your different products. Yeah. So, and then they might be interested, and also of course, it's not just them clicking on that link. You have to encourage them by making sure that you're in your A plus content actually tells them what they will see or what they will get from just clicking that, that link on your or your on your a plus content yeah so but you can expose people to your other products in your catalog which is a great way to at least try to encourage again them to maybe go look at them and add in multiple products to cart um as well so what do we miss is there anything else you want to talk about i know we we dove into a couple of them but there's always more stuff out there PPC is another great way you can run ads on your products, you know, for your other products, but we don't need to go deep on that. So what, is there anything else we should talk about though for this one? Yeah, well, like on the pricing strategy, uh, we, we haven't talked about this um, options, like for example, the business price. That mm -hmm. business price is actually something that you can mm -hmm. do to encourage more uh, quantity purchase. Yeah, that's right. Good. So, oh, okay, you know, but that's only for... Um, not, not not a normal customer, but you know, a business customer. Only a business customer can take that. Yeah, and I feel like I still have yet to hear about anyone who's actually gotten a ton of like value out of that. The business, like the business pricing and case pack like offers, but I'm sure there's someone out there who's crushing it. I just don't know of anyone. But still yeah. something to explore. Yeah, something to explore, of course. 
Cool. And then to me is uh, again, if if you're going to uh, or or your aim is to increase the AOV, making sure that you have enough inventory. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah. Cool. But you can always have um if you don't have any inventory in FBA or maybe this one another strategy, um uh, making sure that you have two SKUs for your ASINs. Hmm. Why one would be for FBA and then the second would be for FBM so that if you ran out of inventory for your FBA, you can activate the FBM listing right away to make sure that, uh, you know, your customer can still buy from you. Because the moment that you run out of stock, it's not just losing sales, but also losing your organic rent. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Cool. I mean, I think that covers some uh, really good strategies. Uh, if anyone else has any ideas that, that have worked really well for them, let us know again in the comments. We're always uh, looking for you know stuff that you guys have done that's working super well. And if you have any questions about any of these strategies and want us to go deeper, also let us know in the comments. And otherwise, we'll put all of our contact info and just how you can reach out to us too in case you have some questions or want to get in touch. All right. Thanks, Arvin. Thanks, good... Ben. See ya.